hello again welcome to my youtube channel hello thank you to all my subscribers and thank you to my new subscribers i appreciate like all the subscribers and the comments i appreciate them this is a dean from christian encouragement yes i am outside yes different location but it's for a reason it's for the encouragement <laughs> so today i just want to um start off by encouraging you like so the being outside is just is definitely for a moment i just want um you to be encouraged you know as we're going through the winter period almost at the end of winter um it's sunny and beautiful today but the lord uh, the holy spirit has been teaching me you know about being in the lord and in the book of john 14 <laughs> yes in the book of john 14 um and reading from 15 to 17 let me get my book <laughs> my bible yes it says that if you love me and you will obey me if you love me you will obey me and do what i command and i will ask the father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever the spirit of truth now the spirit of truth is there to teach you all things to allow you to learn who god is and i want to ask you the question today what have you been learning in your time what have you been allowing the holy spirit to teach you because it's not that the information is not there but are you open to receiving this information are you open to accepting what the lord god almighty is telling you and today my child the lord god almighty is telling you to be planted into the into the word of god be planted into what god has called you out to be be planted in his presence because god is not away from you he is with you he has promised not to leave you and he he is gonna maintain his word he's not a man that he should lie now i want to take you into um just a small analogy i would like to say that the holy spirit taught me like um I was just going and looking at the trees and everything and I'm gonna just show you um, to see everything that I'm talking about you know there are some trees it's the same weather <laughs> it's the same weather like winter you know it, it reaches all the trees it reaches all the trees and they are planted in the same soil right but there are different outcomes there are different outcomes there are different um responses to the tr to, to to the atmosphere that is around them and uh, i want you to take this as a tree being you as us mankind and the soil being god himself we, if we are christian if you love me that is what the word god uh, the word of god says if you love me right so you will do what i command and god is there and he's nurturing us he's telling us what he wants but are you listening to what god is saying are you being receptive to the holy spirit my child i want you to be encouraged that the lord god almighty he's not just a one-sided conversation when we go to god it's not just a one-sided conversation where we are talking but he's talking back at us he's talking back with us you know um just let me go into the analogy right now so we have winter and like all the trees experience winter right but and they're all planted if you look they're all planted into the soil but there are different outcomes you have some that will be green and looking lovely and you have others that it's just stick it's just stick that is standing but it's still standing and you have some that when winter come it's crumbled up it's it's broken it's torn down it's no more 
and I'm using this winter period because this is what the Lord shows me we can be all planted in God but how deep are we really planted how far are we willing to go when hard times when hard time comes what will we do what what will happen will you be like the tree that brings forth its fruit still even in the hard time that remain resilient and still be green flourishing will we be the stick that it looks like things are bad it looks like things are bad but it's still standing it's just waiting for another season to bloom or will we be the stick the tree that is crumbled my child I want to encourage you hardship will come but be encouraged that the Lord God Almighty will fight for you he will stand with you you are not alone you are not alone so I'm gonna show you like my environment so that you can see what I'm talking about I'm taking you taking you on a discovery encouragement today <laughs> So first of all, I want you to look at this tree. Yes, the tree, my friend, it is green. It is winter and it stood the hardship of the time. It's, it, it withstand everything that the, the winter had to bring to it. Now look at this one. yes it is still standing despite there is no leaf there are no leaves on the tree but it is still standing it's standing firm and it's waiting for that time when a new season will come and it will start to bloom again it will start to bloom again it will open up its its its, its branches and start budding or will you be like the tree that is tossed down and broken and destroyed because it's not properly rooted but instead it's on sandy soil sandy soil my friend the Lord wants you to be firm in him he wants you to stand firm in him he wants you to be dedicated to his word he wants you to be encouraged that he has gone before you that he is with you that no weapon form against you shall prosper so be like the tree that bring forth fruit in season despite the situation that happens despite the things that happens and this is a twofold message because there's two, two, two ways that the Spirit of God is just showing how to go, how to just, um, how, how we can reach each other. And there are different situations in each way, in each life, there are different situations, you know, that reaches us and we have to be determined. We have to know what we want. We have to take a stand in what will happen. Uh, and we have to know the God we serve. We have to know the God we serve. The word of God says that they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The Lord God Almighty will keep you to the very end of days. That's what God promised. He says, Lo, I am with you always to the very end, to the very end. He said that he's going to be with you. He didn't say that there would not be a time that hardship is going to come. He didn't say that there would be time that things would be um, smooth sailing all the days of your life. As a matter of fact, he told you that the world will not like you because he, it did not like him. So what will you do? Will you crumble? Will you withdraw? Will you curl up? Because the enemy is after you. The word of God says in John 10, 10, it says that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But it, all, it didn't stop there. And I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to go into what God says. 
God says, but I come so that you can have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus Christ came. So, yes, in this world, the devil come. He came. Yeah. But guess what? Christ Jesus came also. The devil came to kill, steal, destroy, take away your joy, take away your life, take away the destiny God has ordained for you. But Christ Jesus came to give you life, joy, peace, an abundant life in him. My friend, my child, my brother, my sister, this is a journey that we're all on for one thing, to seek the kingdom of God and all other things will be added unto us. To love the Lord God Almighty with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. And to strive to be in the kingdom of God with him. To be there where he is. Because in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. So I just want to thank you all for listening. I am going to just pray over you. Uh, let me sit down. <laughs> I'm just going to pray over you. That the Lord keep you. That the Lord encourage your heart. That your key in to the Holy Spirit. That he is teaching you his ways. And that you're listening to him do not be afraid when trouble come when hard time come do not be afraid when hard time comes because God is with you stand your ground be planted be planted be like the Psalm 1 says be like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth fruit in and out of season yes so my child let us pray heavenly father i just want to thank you for today i want to thank you lord god for those who are listening lord god i want to thank you for the encouragement that you have given those who are listening even now mighty god i pray that you will be their shield and their buckler lord god allow them to be tuned into the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will teach them the things of the Lord because the Word of God says if they love you they will do what you command and the counselor the Holy Spirit will come and teach them all things so mighty God teach them in your wisdom teach them in your way teach them mighty God because they are yours your inheritance oh God they need you protect them guard them send your anointing over their lives in Jesus name I pray amen so thank you Lord thank you again guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel thank you for coming on this journey with me it's truly a faith journey it's a faith walk um, one of the year um, one of the things God said to me this year was um, that this year was the year of fulfillment and I am truly just trusting God and knowing that God will work it together for, for the good of those who love him. Yes, and um, I have a second video to upload um, in regards to the same tree and the atmosphere, the temperature and everything. Because there is another side to this. Okay, again, thanks again for subscribing. See you next time. Bye. May the good Lord bless you and keep you in his love and his peace.